Happy holidays, everyone. Today, we're gonna celebrate an Italian-American inspired Feast of the Seven Fishes, Mamma Mia! Why is the Feast of the Seven Fishes a thing? Um, do you know why you eat fish on Christmas Eve? I don't know the origin, no. I don't. From what I understand, it's an Italian-American thing. A lot of the immigrants started this. A lot of Roman Catholics, they didn't eat meat on these certain days. So that's why there's a tradition that somehow started to eat fish. I don't know why it's seven fishes, no me importa. We in the kitchen, we frying some fish tempura batter. Well, I'm gonna make sure all of them better. Aye, aye, aye. Some. No dancing while making fried fish. And Chinese people say ni ni niao yi. I like that too. Okay, dish boy, set the table. Watch your arm, it's over there. You were on my way! I told you to watch out. Low dollar. I'll get how fat box sick you got. Hey. Oh, I got box out fat. Okay, I'll jow seen. What? Okay. My mom's gonna make a little clam sauce pasta. You know it's gonna taste good when we're wearing red. Throw the onion in. Some anchovies and uh, butterfly and some shrimp. What's your favorite part about Christmas Eve? I don't know. What? You want some wine? Oh, yeah. Cook that out. Okay, take that out. It's like garlic shrimp. <laughs> shrimp out. Yeah, we added the clam sauce. Che. Mamma mia. Let's try the pasta. Okay, Doc, put this back in, right? Is the pasta done yet? Yeah. You sure? Mm. Spilling it everywhere. One lemon zest, parsley. This looks like mamma mia. Fried fish, fried shrimp, fried scallop, not healthy. Our seafood pasta, spinach. Papa Tola. Nay, All you British people eat fish and chips. You better watch out. Papa's coming for you. Literally. Yeah, you used to have like 20 courses for Christmas Eve, right? After we eat, we'd eat again. Buonasera. These are called kuchadati. They're kind of like a fig newton. They have ground figs, coffee, usually a type of alcohol, chocolate, nuts, and dried fruit, and some honey. So these are all like Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, African flavors. And these cookies actually date back to the Arab occupation of Sicily. My Nona, who is this year 99 years old, she wrote down the recipe on a card in script. And we can't find the card. But now my Chinese American mom and I try to make these every year. And I don't even like these, but I like the tradition. Mm. I don't know why we eat these during Christmas. There's a story that I don't know. And I'm actually drinking it with masala chai tea. I don't think my ancestors drank masala chai tea with these cookies. But if these cookies were due to the influence of different cultures, they might have. So I'm just reliving the past. Mamma mia! Or I'm just making something completely new, putting my style on it. Either way, I really like the warming flavors of this with this cookie. It's not so much about the holidays. It's about the traditions and the memories that I really appreciate and respect. It's very special. Wish everyone health, wealth, and happiness, sending you good vibes. Peace.